Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Lorena Aguirre and I post every Saturday for nail tutorials. And I do some like other reviews and whatnot. But yeah, so basically today's video, we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. It is gonna be this super cute set right here. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And make sure to hit that little bell button down below and it'll notify you guys every time I post a new video. All right, the first product that I'm using is Tracy's Nails and OPI, and this is like a nude OPI color. Usually I like to use Tracy's Nails just because how pigmented they are, and they're super, super thin. They don't end up bulking up on the nail. Um, the reason why I went and slid my finger across the sides of the nails was just to remove that bulk from these nails. I don't feel like I have to do that so much with Tracy's Nails. Thankfully, um, you guys might see me do it every so often, but I don't really ever have to do it with these nails as much as I have to do with the OPI. And because a lot of you guys were asking me like how I keep the original shape and stuff with polishing. And this is honestly one of the best tips that I could give you is just wipe the edges. I don't want you to go in and wipe super, super hard just because you guys will end up taking off, um... A lot of product if you really pinch just glide your fingers just at the edges and it'll really help you keep um, that shape that you guys did prior to doing this step even this this polishing it is really really good even if you guys are doing acrylic nails um, I find that that helps me a lot if I'm just doing just gel nails um, since they're so short I don't find myself needing to do this of course because there is no sidewall I'm going to go ahead, every time I cure this, I am going to be curing it for 60 seconds in this LED light. These are the new decals I'm coming out with, guys. So today, they will be on my site. I I am super excited about them. I love the way they came out. Um, with this pack, they are going to be co they are going to come with two in the pack, just so you could have two of each letter. Just because prior and or, um, when I had first did my decals, I did feel like I did only do one. And... Yeah, honestly, that was my mistake. I'm really sorry about that. But I am going to be having more decals where it has more than one letter in it. So I'm super excited about that just because I just want to make all of you guys happy. And yeah, so make sure to check those out. The link will be down below in the description. And you guys will be able to see the new and improved design that I made on my decals because before they were only 3 by 2 but now they're going to be larger for all of you so I hope you guys really do enjoy that. The price is a little bit more but I feel like um, the amount that you get in there is really is worth it um, especially if you guys are charging accordingly so yeah make sure you guys are charging accordingly just so if you guys are doing designs whether it be decals or hand painted stuff I know hand painted stuff it takes a lot longer um, right here you guys could see I was like mentioning my brush so I ended up just getting acetone in this brush this is a bow and brush I really love this brush I've had it forever I tried to clean it with the brush cleaner and I left it soaking and it just jacked up the barrel um, but I am waiting for new brushes I am going to be doing a video on AliExpress but right here you guys could see I loaded up the brush and then after I went ahead and did my design um Sorry, I'm out of frame right there, but you guys can kind of just see what I'm doing. I like to kind of start high up and then work my way down. I didn't want the tip to be filled in so much. I wanted the V to go to the very tip of the nail. Um, I know people, they have different styles the way they like to do this. I went ahead and I kind of messed up right there, but I went ahead and cleaned it off camera. So please don't mind that. And I'm going to go in with the larger brush. The reason why I'm doing this is because I tried to use the smaller brush. And honestly, you guys, it took so long <laughs> trying to fill in that little area. And I'm just going to be doing the same thing to this nail. I really love this V shape. I love doing it in the reds. I love doing it in the black. I, even in the white. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so gorgeous. I had seen, um, I can't remember the girl's name, but she had did a set where she had did glitter on the edges of the nail, and I thought it looked so beautiful. It made me even want to try that. So if you guys see a set of me doing that, I will do um, a tag on the inspo just because I can't think of her name right now, but... Her stuff is really amazing, um, but yeah, so I'm just going in and 
course painting in and look how pigmented that is especially considering you're going over a lighter color um, I used to use OPI black but honestly this is so much better and I'm just gonna go ahead and touch up where I feel like it needs to be touched up if I like just those little imperfections and then go ahead and put it into the light for another 30 seconds I did end up switching my light to the big one um, I wanted to do the other one on camera for you guys but it just didn't cover my whole um, little plate area and I went ahead and got the foil gel from montage and you guys this stuff is actually pretty bomb I'm really impressed with it just because I was using gel Gelexar I think and I don't know what it is like I've seen other people use that and honestly, anytime I've used that, not the whole foil had came off. And with this, it's pretty good. The reason why you don't see like the whole foil is because I actually have it like wrapped a little bit around my nail or around my finger and just applying a little bit of pressure. But if I slid my finger across the whole thing, the whole foil would come off. Um, so it's really, really good. And then I went ahead and just put a matte top coat over it. You guys already know Koopa Matte Top Coat is my favorite. And then I'm just getting my decals off with some tweezers. I feel like that helps so much using tweezers, you guys. So if you guys aren't using tweezers, trust me, if you guys get a pair of tweezers, it will definitely help. I like the ones that are already like kind of like spring loaded. So in order to open them up, you have to squeeze instead. All right, and then I'm just getting up, the, getting the brush and touching up that little area just because I felt like it wasn't as opaque as I liked so went ahead and did that and cured it and then right here you guys see me getting my matte top coat and putting like a good amount over the decal and I'm not going to be painting the whole nail right away just because all this is for is just so it could kind of seal in the decal and then I pull it out and then I buff it which I actually am doing right now I thought I had accidentally clipped it out but and I had did it a little bit off camera um, but you see me go in and just go in and buff 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 if you guys feel like you need a thicker coat of polish I do feel like the top coat that I use it is kind of like a thicker viscosity so um, I don't feel like I have to really worry about it rubbing off the decal but if you guys feel like your your gel that you're the top coat that you're using if you feel like it is super super thin and runny I would definitely recommend getting a, maybe a little bit of like something thicker just so then after you guys will be able to cover it and it seal really nicely and the finish of it will be nice and smooth and so right here you guys are seeing me going in with the Koopa matte top coat once again I do want to do a video on trying um a few different top coats just because in the past I did a video on that and comparing top coats and which ones that I liked and of course you guys know I picked this one because I'm still using it but I do want to update my matte top coat video so I do want to purchase um some top coats I wish I would have did it in my Tracy's nail package um so shoot i want to try hers but yeah let me know which ones that you guys really enjoy using down below i know some people they use presto and other ones but i use koopa and i've been using it ever since my matte top coat series that i did um so make sure to check that out if you guys haven't already just because i compare i think i believe it was like three or four of them and yeah so let me know which ones that you guys want to see this year just because that is something that i really want to do i want to find the next best thing um and compare them for you guys but right here i did end up getting my my montage resin this stuff is really good and i do find that if you guys put it in your led lamp even though it is it doesn't have like UV stuff in it to cure it. I do feel like it does help it dry a little bit faster. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to it, but I do feel like it helps. So I'll usually put it under the light for a few seconds. And if it's still not cured, because de depending on the temperature, if it's more cold, um, I do feel like it kind of ends up not sticking as well. Um, like, and it takes a, a little while longer to dry but I will end up going in with the resin activator um, but I really don't like to do that if I don't have to so that's why I of course use the light but right here you guys see me doing a little cluster the reason why I wanted to do this was because I wanted it to look like as if it was like almost like diamonds and then like it having like 
the little prongs holding the, the diamond in. That's kind of like more of the look that I was going for. But, and I wanted to like make it taper smaller as it went down. And right here I'm kind of just debating where I want to put add more. And I decided to go around the cuticle. I felt like that would be fun and cute. I know last week I was kind of MIA. I do kind of want to touch on that a little bit. Um, I did have a passing in my family, so um, we are trying to get the funeral together. And if you guys don't, or like, of course, a lot of you guys do know, um, with everything going on, everything takes a lot longer. So even the bur burial process, it is taking a lot longer than what we wanted. Um, so, yeah. I will put the link down below so if you guys do want to donate to my mom because it was my mom's husband um feel free don't feel obligated to do it um or if you guys are able to share the link please do so i would very much appreciate that just because we still haven't been able to raise all the money for the funeral cost yet and um yeah so if you guys would like um you know, donate. If you can't, just please share the link. I would very much appreciate it. But yes, um, I just kind of wanted to mention that just because I know I didn't post my video that I usually do every Saturday, but a lot was just going on and I really needed to be there for my mom. And yeah, so that's kind of what's been going on. But right here, um, you guys could see that I am just doing straight across. I've been wanting to do a nail like this. Um, I kind of haven't been, like, I don't, not that I haven't been able to, but I just haven't, for whatever reason, I haven't tried it. And honestly, I love the way it came out. So if you guys have been wanting to try it, I mean, you guys should try it because I really love the way it came out. It looks really, really pretty. But yes, you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'll go ahead and capture some photos for you guys to show you guys the final, final look and what they look like in the box and on my hands. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as usual, I'll be back with more videos. Bye!